Welcome to Post Fight with Ray Thompson. This show is powered by MMA Crypt. For more interviews and podcasts, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, MMA Crypt. You can also follow MMA Crypt on Facebook and Twitter. It's at MMA Crypt on Twitter and MMA Crypt on Facebook. To follow me, it's at MMA Mental on Twitter, Ray Thompson on Facebook. I'm now joined by Dean Garnett. Dean is coming off of a successful Cage Warriors debut at Cage Warriors 68, beating John Cullen via heel hook in the first round, taking his pro record to 6-0. and Dean, thank you very much for joining me. Yeah, no uh, Congratulations on winning your Cage Warriors debut. Yeah, thank you, Mom, for me, uh, Let's talk a little bit about the build-up to the fight then. You were matched up with uh, John Cullen, who's uh, is, uh, got, had a lot more experience than you going into the fight. Uh, how did you feel about John Cullen as an opponent, and what was your game plan going into the fight? What made you feel? Uh, what made you think then you were going to be facing John Cullen? Um, no, no, I really. I, I was just looking for potential matches, and I, I remembered in, uh, losing the fight in the back of, and I thought, oh, maybe somebody might be looking to get back inside the office record. And thought, so, oh, yeah, I could suggest this to Paul now, and then the phone rang, and thought, uh, you know, he Dean was already on the case, so um, I just maybe moved him to be. Did you feel any added pressure going into the fact that it was, you know, that it was a Cage Warriors event? How did it feel as well fighting, uh, obviously I know you've fought in Liverpool before, but just fighting in Liverpool for Cage Warriors? So, go, obviously, then with with regards to the fight, then of course you got the heel hook in, in the first round. How yeah. did it feel to to land that and when he tapped? Oh, that, 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 obviously, the, the, you know, fighters talk about the relief when you get that win, and, and that's what there was a moment of relief. But I said, as soon as, as soon as I saw him, that I was potentially going to leg lock him in the, at the end of the round if I hadn't caught him away already. So, in the corner, <coughs> in fact, the fact that the the night of the way in. I went to the gym at about midnight just to do a light workout uh, with one of my teammates. Um, we were doing that leg lock uh, again because it was something I thought about uh, with his big long legs. And I thought, you know, I'd jump on one of them late in the round. And uh, I said again to the corner just before we went out, I need to know when it's 30 seconds left. Um, so, you know, he let me know 40 seconds away. And I just started to take my time. I started to open his card up. Something I've done in the fight already and hadn't jumped on a leg. I just used it to uh, pass his guard before. So, he, you know, he, did, he didn't suggest, uh, expect anything. Come on, I don't think anyway. So, he, you know, he was teeing off a guard of power control in the wrist. But as soon as them, them legs opened, that was it. As soon as my knee went in, and that was it. I knew, I knew I had it. You're now obviously 6-0, and and if you look at your resume, you know, four of your fights have come with a first-round submission, two have gone the distance. How how important is it for you, not just to get to the win, but to win in an exciting fashion and, and keep finishing the fights? Well, it's definitely important. My fight with Conor Days, I think I was really close to finishing that fight in, in, in the first round, so sometimes I look back at that one, I think that was one I should have finished, but, um, you know, it, it's important for me to get finishes because 
I want to fight on a big stage, you know, so that the longer you're in there, that the, the chance increases that, that something can go wrong. And, you know, normally I'm the type of, the type of fight that likes to come out and control the fight or decisions. Uh, you know, I, I think a lot of the decisions in the career you'll probably see go my way um, just because of the, the, the style I've got. But, you know, who doesn't want to see fight finger? Then look, look, at, look at that one from, from Saturday. I've picked up, you know, I've picked up two bonuses there, um, which, you know, the extra money's nice. And, We've just just found out to get the submission of the night bonus as well as the, the main card finish, so no, I'm, I'm happy, pleased. Yeah, that's a, a good night's work, a good win and, t- and two bonuses. So how did you feel coming out of the fight? Have you got any knocks or injuries from the fight? Not, not at all, I'm actually in the gym now, so um, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go again. I'm looking for some overtime, some, some case like this, if there's any about, so um, if anything comes up any time in the show future, you'll probably see me back in there. So you'd like to get in there soon then. Have you got, any, uh, you got your eye on anybody you'd like to face? There's no point me talking names. Um, I, I think just just fight the guys Ian Dean suggests would probably be the best thing for me today at the moment. And, um, but, you know that's only suits me. Is I, I just want to be on main card again. I know that the the K Joys are going to be back at the Echo Arena at some point. I'd like a, a higher profile fight certainly um, in my own town. That'd be lovely. Well, congratulations on on winning your debut and thank you very much for giving me your time today. And um, before we let it go, I just want to give you a chance to do some shout outs. So if you'd like to shout out your Facebook and your Twitter so let the listeners know where they can follow you and then also anyone okay. you want to thank as well. Okay, so my uh, Twitter is Dean underscore Garnet. That's double T. And you can get me on Facebook as well. Um, I'd just like to do a little shout out to, to Pride or Die, um, Funky Guns, The Public Bar, and then all the guys at Next Generation, No, no Limits, and all that up. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can't wait to see you step in the cage again.